U.S. Air Force's new stealth bomber will finally make its first flight. The U.S. Air Force confirmed that it plans to unveil the B-21 Raider stealth bomber during an unveiling ceremony hosted by the Northrop Grumman Corporation at its production facility in Palmdale, California. The B-21 is a highly survivable long-range attack penetration stealth bomber that will gradually replace the B-1 and B-2 bombers, becoming the backbone of the U.S. Air Force's bomber fleet. The unveiling of the B-21 Raider will be a historic moment for our Air Force and for the nation. Said Air Force Chief of Staff General C. K. Brown, Jr., we last introduced the new bomber more than 30 years ago. When we see the threat posed by our pacing challenges, we must continue to modernize rapidly. The B-21 Raider will provide a strong combat capability across a wide range of operations in a highly contested environment in the future. Once opened, the B-21 program will continue a rigorous testing campaign with a combined team of professionals from the Air Force Test Center, Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center, and Northrop Grumman. Their work will verify performance and identify areas for improvement of the weapon system. The Department of the Air Force invests in the aircraft's long-range strike capabilities as part of its seven operational imperatives as it develops the advanced communications, sensors, and broad mix of weapons and support systems needed to deter our adversaries and win in battle. We must invest in long-range strikes in highly contested environments by integrating the B-21 bomber with advanced communications, sensors, and a broad mix of weapons and support systems. The B-21 program is a strong example of America's long experience deploying advanced military technology through an innovative, adaptable, and efficient defense industrial base, said Andrew Hunter, Air Force Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics. The Air Force made a decision early in the program to create a production representative for the flight test aircraft, which is paying dividends as we look toward first flights. The B-21 weapon system is produced under an Air Force contract with Northrop Grumman. It is designed with an open systems architecture, enabling rapid insertion of mature technologies and allowing aircraft to remain effective as threats evolve over time. The B-21 will also operate the drone under Secretary of the Air Force, Gina Ortiz, told reporters that we are assessing the potential to introduce a lower-cost complement of raw aircraft into the B-21 to provide an enhanced level of capability. Missions alone or operate a group of network drones from the cockpit of this type of aircraft. People capabilities are now rapidly expanding through Air Force testing and development, allowing a manned crew to control the flight path and sensor payload from the aircraft cockpit. This not only allows the manned crew to operate at high deadlock distances. Operational imperatives are focused on the B-21 long-range strike system, which is an early attempt to modernize the strategic aircraft leg of our country's nuclear triad. Very little information is available on the B-21 for understandable security reasons, as most of these programs are black or considered very classified, but senior Air Force leaders have made clear they expect the B-21 to withstand any target risk. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.